Welcome back to another MT Dockerin. It has been many months before or since I have uploaded a video continuing the presentation that I talked about, the outline for change. And I stopped doing that for many reasons. One, I had other personal projects that I wanted to complete. I wanted to make a iPhone app, finish a book, those sort of things. And I accomplished all of that and I'm very proud of myself. And I'm finishing other projects that I'm passionate about. And the reality was I was doing these videos and I was saying to myself, I'm not getting a lot of subscribers and I'm not getting a lot of views. So why am I putting so much extra effort into creating or finishing these videos? That's what I was thinking to myself. And I said, well, let me just put a hold on this, finish the things that I'm really passionate about, and I will come back to this. Because I do care about the MT Doctrine. And during those months off, I started to reflect on, well, a lot of things has happened since the last time I did my recordings for this. A lot of bad things happen. Basically, everything that I have talked about so far in the videos on my channel, they are still solid in terms of the facts of why we are aggressive animals and the acts of human aggression. So basically, I spent an hour and a half tonight uh, preparing the next set of videos that I want to give to you guys. I mean, I got everything all worked out. I was going to talk about the human formula very quickly, acts of human aggression, talk about the different group IDs, talk about the human mindset that some of us are active mindsets or passive mindsets. Then I'm going to talk about the different crime categories and what is considered as certain type of crimes, high, medium, and low, crimes committed by middle class, upper class. And I was going to give you my general law. General laws based on a baseline that we should be following in this country, followed by different articles based on freedom of expression, education, common sense clause, medical, everything. I had it all worked out. I spent an hour and a half doing all of this. And I said, well, one, most of what I'm saying is repetitive. Many of these are videos I have done already on my channel. So please see all the videos on my channel for the MT Doctrine. Because I talked about much of this, including the divided states of America. So why am I being repetitive towards this? Watch the videos on my channel, like them, subscribe and share that you like this kind of content that I'm presenting here. So I said, well, what's number two? Then? What do I do now with the channel and moving forward? So I said, let me forget about this hour and a half of what I wasted my time on doing a duplicate um, slides. And let me get down to the meat of it. Because everything that I completed here, it came down to a very simple kind of understanding. And that understanding for me really kind of came together when you hear about things about the racism in this country, in the United States of America. When you hear about things about Dylan Roof and about Confederate flags and heritage and conservatives and all this stuff. It comes down to a very simple concept, and that's what I have been looking for for a very, very long time. So I'm going to share with you exactly what all this comes down to. Now, I know I probably said this so many times, and I apologize, but the reality is all of us right now, we are looking for answers. Now, all of us have a particular event that has happened in our life. Okay? Not in our life, probably in the news. Let me, let me be fair. There is some event that you have seen on the news or anywhere in the world that you looked at that event and you said to yourself, Whoa, that can't happen. That didn't happen. No, they're making this up. It's a movie, right? 
but it is something that has actually happened. And when that and when you have that epiphany of such an event that happens, you go, you start looking for answers. You start to do a discovery to figure out why is the world what it is? How could this event happen? And you're looking for information. You're watching videos out there. Probably my channel you stumbled across trying to get answers to why the world is so fucked up as it is. Because some event that you were thinking about didn't make any sense. So you're going to YouTube channels, you're reading articles, you're looking at user comments. And when you start liking some of the content, then you explore further to get more information to help you deal with the world that you live in so you can continue on. Now, I said something about this numerous times in different wording, I'm guessing, or maybe the same wording. I don't know. But information that could help you to make sense of the world that you live in. So for me, the event that has been piercing to me personally was Sandy Hook. I looked at Sandy Hook because I had... I. At the time, I have I've had kids. Sorry, not making any sense here. Let's try this one more time. When Sandy Hook happened, I had children that was that exact same age as the kids that were killed. I mean, the exact same age. So you had this mentally disturbed person who, which had access to guns because his mother had guns. He saw his mother. He shot his mother in the face. Then he brought enough guns and ammunition to kill everybody in the school, which is obviously predominantly children. He was going to kill everybody in that school because of his mental problems. And he killed children and faculty members. All of that happened. And the aftermath from that was there was no gun policy that was really enforced. And you had all these pro-gun people talking about, oh, my guns, don't take my guns away. Damn you, my guns are important. And they're running to the grocery store, the Walmarts, whatever, I don't give a shit. They're running to the stores to buy more ammunition, probably because they knew that gun control stuff was going to happen. And I looked at that going, this can't be the world that I live in. How people could be so inconsiderate, have no empathy. And even for pro-gun people, that they couldn't step back and look at the situation and say, this isn't right. Children are killed because a mentally disturbed person got his hands on weapons, military-grade weapons, and inflicted harm and hate. That can't happen in this world, right? Come on. That's stuff you hear about in the movies, right? Nope. That happened in real life. And that really was why I created the human formula on my channel. I spent a lot of time analyzing, trying to make sense of it. And I did make sense of it. And I'm very proud of the human formula because when it came down to the bottom line of the world that I live in, it does come down to the human formula, the virtual worlds, the filters, is all of that. That is dead on perfect. So, I'm going to provide you guys more information very quickly of what all this comes down to and it is based on the human formula. I'll even provide you some examples. But this is the particular concept that I have figured out many months ago and is what I use to get through the day or through the news that I see. So with Charleston, North Carolina, um, North Carolina with a hate crime, a kid confused walks, walks into a, um, a church. He sits there during Bible class or something. He listens there for about an hour and he inflicts harm, killing people. I'm sure many of you right now, that is your event right now. That kind of stuff doesn't happen anymore. Everybody's free. There's no slavery anymore. But it still happens. So you're looking for answers to figure out why. 
And if you're here because of you trying to find out, find out answers in the world, then I recommend you guys to check out the video that I have on my channel, which is the human formula is a four part series. Check it out. It will make sense of the world that you live in. So with that being said, I'm going to get to the smoking gun that's going to quickly define why the world is what it is.